Pooh Shiesty came out of nowhere and started taking over the rap game. But he got caught up in two wild shootouts that got him sentenced to five years in prison. From getting arrested at 11 years old to allegedly sending shooters to take out his op during the show, this is the crazy downfall of Pooh Shiesty. Pooh Shiesty was raised on the south side of Memphis, which is one of the most violent cities in America. The south side is where a lot of the beef goes down and just one wrong move could get you killed. But luckily for Shiesty, his dad was an OG in the city. Shiesty's dad is a rapper named Mob Boss who came up in the streets and started his own label called Mob Ties. Mob Boss has had a wild life catching charges related to guns, drugs, and murder. But when he wasn't getting locked up, he teach Shiesty how the streets and the studio work. When he was around eight years old, Shiesty would go on the road with his dad and learn how tours and studio sessions were set up. He was more into basketball than rapping, even though his dad was putting him work in the booth. But Shiesty ended up following him into the trenches and caught his first charge at just 11 years old. Memphis was a tough place for Shiesty to be a kid. He was surrounded by crime and violence every day. And in an interview, he said that everyone from his area has already seen at least one friend get killed by the time they're 15. It's not clear how he caught the robbery charge or what the details were, but that same year, Shiesty ended up getting kicked out of middle school for allegedly bringing a gun with him. Shiesty claims that he never had a gun on him at school, but that wasn't the only trouble he got into as a kid. He was arrested again at 14, but nobody knows anything about the case because he was still a minor when he got booked. Shiesty was neck deep in the trenches since he was a little kid. He could have ended up dead or locked up for decades as a teenager. But luckily, his mom took him out of Memphis to live in Texas for a couple of years and it helped Shiesty cool off a bit with the street activity. They moved to a tiny city called Flukerville and having the change of environment was huge for Shiesty. When he came back to Memphis, he got on the grind and went to summer school so he could get his high school diploma. And at the same time, he decided to go all in on the music. Growing up, Shiesty would always freestyle for fun but it took him a long time to hop in the booth and start laying down tracks. He also started a crew with his homies called Chopper Gang. Shiesty says it's just a collective for making music and getting bread, but the police and others claim they're a brutal street gang involved in all kinds of violence in Memphis. Shiesty ain't pop off until 2019, but he started dropping verses on his homies' tracks in 2018. He's tight with another rapper from the city named Big 30, and they linked up for Shiesty's first single, Hell Night. The track ran up crazy numbers for a new rapper out of Memphis and the video ended up hitting over 14 million views. A lot of rappers speak about situations that never actually happened, but Shiesty sounded like he was talking about the work he really put in. On the track Chopper Talk, he said, I got some killers, you got some killers, but mine be killing more. You shot my nigga, we killed your nigga, now we even the score. And I don't do no capping, this shit is my soul. And I can't go to sleep unless I got a pole. Fans knew that Shiesty came up in the wild streets of Memphis, but it would still be a while before anyone knew how savage he really was. Shiesty only had a few songs under his belt, but he already had a lot of buzz on his name. And one day, he got a text out of nowhere from a southern rap legend. Memphis is a small city that don't even have a west side, and for years, the rap scene was basically split in two. Before Young Dolph was tragically shot and killed in Memphis, he had been locked into a wild beef with Yo Gotti and his CMG label. If you were a street rapper coming up in the city, you had to choose between Dolph and his paper route crew, or go with Gotti and his team. Who Shiesty told the Breakfast Club, Like, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't never wanted to sign a no battle. It's mm -hmm. just my mentality. Mm -hmm. And you know, in the city, it's like you gotta sign to either one of them. Mm -hmm. You gotta be paper out of CMG. But so before WAP come, came out, I'm still Chopper Gang. This is my label. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to be like, why you can't be signed to Chopper Gang, CMG, or paper route? So when Gucci Mane hit him up one day and asked if he was signed, Shiesty knew it was the perfect opportunity to avoid all the Memphis rap beef. Gucci signed him to his new 1017 label and got Shiesty a deal with Atlantic Records too. Then a couple months later, they collab on the track Still Remember and Shiesty was officially in the spotlight. He kept the momentum up and dropped a track with Lil Baby and Big 30 less than a week later. Shiesty shouted out his dad Mob Boss on the song too and said, See some? I gotta have it. Tuck your chain before I grab it. Spin this block in the caddy, these FNNs black plastic. Miss Gladys raised a savage. They said I shoot like my daddy. A lot of rappers claim to have street ties that don't actually exist. But Shiesty and his family are about that life for real. One of the biggest drug kingpins in the history of Memphis is a dude named Ronnie Woods. He was the head of a crew called the Memphis Mob, and he basically ran the city's drug game for three decades. The mob got hit with a huge indictment in 2019. But back in the day, Shiesty's dad was allegedly tight with Woods and had some deals with him in the street. In 2020, Shiesty was becoming one of the hottest new artists in the industry. But that's when fans started to learn how deep in the streets he really was. It's not clear how everything started, but at some point, Shiesty started beefing with another Memphis rapper named Big Boogie. Shiesty aired him out on IG Live, and there were even rumors that his Chopper Gang crew were the ones who tried to kill Boogie during the show. 
In July 2020, Boogie was performing in Como, Mississippi when shots started going off during the concert. The shooters fired over 100 rounds, but Boogie made it out alive. <laughs> Two other people were tragically killed, though, and at least four more were hit during the shooting. There's rumors that Choppa Gang and Shiesty were involved somehow, but no evidence backs it up. Big Boogie ain't the only dude from Memphis that Shiesty allegedly wanted taken out, though. When Shiesty was allegedly plotting to take out another op, his name was in the spotlight more and more. 2020 is when Shiesty really started taking over the game. He had collapsed with Lil Baby and Gucci Mane that blew up, but when he linked up with Lil Durk, everything changed. They dropped the track Back in Blood, which blew up immediately and racked up almost 300 million plays on Spotify. Shiesty already had a multi-platinum hit and had only been in the game for a couple of years, but at the same time, it was clear that he hadn't left the streets behind. EBG is a gang from the north side of Memphis that has issues with Shiesty, and a rapper from the crew named EBG E. Jizzle dropped a Back in Blood remix and said, Cross my heart, that's on my soul. Lil Mr. Pooh, you was a Telling gang that 30 shot you, now you rapping, that's your bro. He took a shot at Dirk too and said, Dirk, you hopping on this song? Don't make me slide through O-Block. 5.56 five, with the stock, you know we love exotic glocks. Taking shots at Dirk and Shiesty was a risky move, and E-Jizzle got shot just a few weeks after the track dropped. Rumors were flying that he had been paralyzed from the shooting, so Shiesty hopped on IG to clown him for dissing and not being able to walk. Luckily, it turns out that E-Jizzle just got shot in the arm and wasn't paralyzed, though. Nobody knows exactly where the beef started with him and Shiesty, but rumors are that Shiesty and Choppa Gang robbed EBG back in the day. Shiesty was never officially involved with EJizzle's shooting case, but in 2020, he caught the charge that put him in prison for the next few years and caused his downfall. In October 2020, Shiesty's fans were shocked when the news broke that he had been booked on armed robbery, aggravated assault, and theft charges over a shooting that went down in Florida. He bonded out the same day they arrested him, and a month later, a lot of people forgot about the case because he was going viral with Back in Blood. The situation in Florida was crazy, though. According to the judge, Shiesty had rented a McLaren from some dudes and wanted to link up with them again to buy weed, lean, and sneakers. Shiesty and his homies rode up to the spot, and at some point, one of them upped a strap and shot one of the sellers. Shiesty sped off from the scene, but he dropped a Louis Vuitton bag with 40 k in cash on the ground. The cops traced the money back to Pooh, and luckily, he was able to bail out. But it was hard for Shiesty to shake the street mentality, and just a few months later, he got caught up in another shooting. According to reports, Shiesty was at a strip club in Miami when he got into some kind of beef with security. The situation got heated, and that's when Shiesty allegedly let off a shot and hit somebody in the ankle. A federal judge decided he was too dangerous to walk around until his trial, so he ordered Shiesty to sit in jail without bond. It's not clear what's going on with his Miami case, but last year, Shiesty pleaded guilty to conspiracy charges over the robbery and shooting from 2020 and got hit with a five-year sentence. Shiesty could end up coming home within a couple of years if he stays out of trouble, but according to Gucci Mane, he's being abused by the prison system right now. Gucci hopped on IG and said that Pooh is being held on 23-hour lockdown and is giving food trays without any food on them. Shiesty also said that the police don't stop watching after you get locked up and that you can go to jail inside of jail. Luckily, it seems like his situation might be getting better on the inside now. Back in February, he went on IG to brag about having more money than Jay-Z did at his age and sent a warning to all of his ops too. Shiesty's trying to keep his career going from behind bars, but the rap game moves fast and there's no telling if his fans will stick around for when he comes out. Luckily, it seems like Gucci is still there for him, so there's a chance that Shiesty will come home and take over the game again.